investigation by the Associated Press this week has created a scare among women using a type of birth control called the Ortho Evra patch. It claims that the chances of dying from side effects are actually three times higher than using a birth control pill. So what should women do? Is the investigation hope that could save women's lives, or is it just hype that women should ignore? Local 2 Health troubleshooter Dr. G took a closer look. Women use pills and now even a patch for birth control. Many consider the patch to be more convenient because you can slap it on and forget about it for a week. We all know that taking hormonal birth control does come with some risks, such as blood clots, strokes, and even heart disease. In scientific control studies, the risk of dying from a blood clot on the pill is one in every 200,000 women. Right now, there is no proven evidence that the patch carries a higher risk. However, the Associated Press obtained adverse reaction reports from the FDA through the Freedom of Information Act. They found that about 12 women using the patch last year died from blood clots. Dividing that number into 800,000 women on the patch, they found that the risk of the patch was 3 in 200,000. So when compared to the pill, it is three times riskier. So should women stop using the patch? I do not think that anybody should panic because of this report. Yeah. Let's break this down. First of all, Dr. John Irwin with OGA says an adverse reaction report is not scientific. These are reports that can be sent in by anybody, a doctor, a nurse, or a patient. The AP, they just take this data and they call out, oh, well, this looks like a, a blood clot. But they don't know. They didn't interview the patient that had it or the doctor that reported it or anything else. So those deaths may have not been caused by the patch. Another problem is that the maker of the patch says 2 million women are taking the patch, not 800,000. The bottom line, the doctors we talk to say the AP report is flawed. Although control studies need to be done, there's no reason women should be alarmed. As with any medication, there will always be risks. And everyone should talk to their doctor to find out what's the best option for them. It's amazing how many women came up to me this week and they were just shocked by the study and didn't know what to do. But a very, a very different picture when you really pull the numbers apart right. and look when you really look behind what's really going right. on. Right. Well, thanks for doing mm -hmm. that for us, Dr. Jordan.